Hi fellow birdies. birdies. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are doing a special collaboration with Caitlin's Eating Show. Now she is a mother from Canada. Mm -hmm. She does mukbangs featuring fast food as well as other varieties of food too. She does car mukbangs, mukbangs at home. Mm -hmm. And what I really like about her channel is her down to earth personality and just the way she talks to her audience and just seems like warm, welcoming, and so open. So please check out her channel in the description box below and subscribe to her and show her some love and tell her I sent you. <laughs> in today's video, we're going to be doing Taco Bell. Now, I don't know what she got for her video, but we will find out later. But for us, I'm going to be getting the new, well, it's like not new, but they brought it back. The Naked Chicken Chalupa. I know it's a weird name. <laughs> But I'm going to be getting the box with the crunchy taco and a burrito and a drink. And he's going to be getting the... Grande nacho box. Are you going to decide, like, what are you going to get? Beef or chicken? Because they I'm offer that I'm always getting beef. <laughs> like, I get, you know, chicken a lot of times for, like, other stuff. But, like, for Mexican food, I always want to get, like, beef or steak or sometimes... They have pork can like pork carnitas or something like that. I'm not sure if they have pork carnitas here, here, but they might. General. I mean, like, might go to like various you know, Mexican restaurants. So he and Buddy's looking forward to trying all that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna go through the drive-thru and try out those new items, and we'll be right back. Hi, Look at my Hi, how you doing? Hi. Could I uh, please have the naked chicken chalupa box? You said you wanted what? The Naked Chicken Chalupa Box, ma'am. What's your drink? Uh, a large Baja Zero Sugar. What else can we get for you? Can I have a, uh, please have a Grande Nachos Box Veggie. What's your drink? A large Blue Raspberry Freeze, ma'am. 1315, pull forward. Alright, thank okay, you. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. You too. All right, guys, we're now back with our Taco Bell meal. Now, I ended up getting the box, so this is the new Naked Chicken Chalupa. I'm not sure how it gets the title <laughs> naked. It looks like it's plenty close. So, it's basically a, looks like a taco. Um, I think it's just, this is chicken on the outside. And uh, you got the Grande Nachos box mm -hmm. right there. So, we're going to be trying them out. So, are you ready? Indeed. Let's go. You go for it. Mmm. There it is. Like, that is chicken. Not bad at all. I love it. Yeah, so far, the nacho is pretty good. Well, I'm very nervous about the tomatoes because, for you know, those who've watched our videos or haven't, I should say, mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of tomatoes, mm -hmm. especially in their, in their uncooked variety. Spoiler alert. <laughs> what you mean? Miles fire. I'm gonna try a little bit of sauce on it now. For me, like I said nachos with veggies. Now let's see. Mm. <laughs> I think they should literally replace all tacos with this. This is amazing. Like. To actually have the taco shell as fried chicken or like chicken in general, it's made out of fried chicken. It's like, look at that. I don't know, I that think I missed the taco awesome. too much. Mm. Mm. That was cooked to go. Very hot. Hmm. The sauce definitely adds a nice touch. Like, I do feel like that it could maybe use like a little bit more, uh, I don't know why I just feel like it needs more, I know it's got a lot of cheese, like it needs more cheese. <laughs> That's not bad. I'm not very creative on you know, describing stuff, but I'll simply say that I like how for the nachos the cheese combines with you know, the sour cream. Mm -hmm. Getting plenty to dip my chip into. It kind of um, reminds me of that video I posted um, today when we're filming this. I did a Fiesta Nachos Chicken, and uh, basically you make it in a slow cooker, and 
it was, goes great as a filling for burritos and tacos and you know nachos i chose nachos as did i i had some too <laughs> but i was actually watching um was a review bra it's called report of the week i'm a really big fan of his channel and i watch his videos and food reviews and he has such a really unique way about reviewing his you know the food and one thing that really like made me laugh yesterday was, was like how could they you know actually say is the naked <laughs> what is you know naked chicken chalupa like literally was part of the name mm -hmm. Yeah, I wasn't watching it, but I was definitely, definitely listening to it, and it was fun you know, listening to how mm -hmm. um, he was like, and he kept being like, why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he didn't actually say why a bunch, but mm -hmm. like, he, you know, he seemed quite flustered from what I was hearing. <laughs> but yeah, like, he's one of my favorite food reviewers to watch, and I watch like a whole bunch of them. I also watch um, Mel's and Chris, too. They also, there are a couple, they do um, food reviews, not just on New Light items that come out like this but also like new food products like they recently just did a video on cheetos i don't know it's like new cheeto flavor that came out uh, i was gonna say cheetos doesn't seem like a new flavor mm. for okay. me when i'm watching a video it tends to be i'm watching the shallon bros um or shallon brothers yeah, if you know, real life was like Among Us in video to Evan. Yeah, like it's that series that Evan has been watching lately. Like all these people in real life dress up as like characters from Among Us. Mm -hmm. And they like reenact um, like the thing. Mm. These Baja Blasts are refreshing. Now they actually have a new um, Pino Colada freeze as well. In, in Mountain Dew, I was, was tempted to get it, but I think I might next time. That's definitely really good. Just a minute too. So, Part of the issue with nachos is you have to figure out how do you eat it just the right food, more, so, more hot sauce. Yeah, what I'm gonna say is you gotta eat it, you know, so you don't like run out of chips before a dip, but you also want to run out of dip before chips. And of course, here we have a regular crunchy taco. I'm actually going to get the soft taco, but I just decided, hey, let's just get the regular crunchy taco. Wait a minute, if I ordered the you know, veggies, that, that doesn't look like veggie. Hmm? That doesn't look like veggie. They fried beans? Oh. Mmm. It looked like he had beef from where I was standing. No, not three fried beans, sweetie. I feel dumb. The only thing I don't like about these is that they fall apart really easy. They are very messy, but they are good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it may not be traditional, but I still prefer the soft shell taco. One thing I also like about the granny nachos box is you can get you know that. And a drink for just five dollars. That was a good price. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I've been trying to avoid doing the whole, you know, sticking my tongue out so I get the food on it and rather on my face rather than on my face, but the other hand, I get the food on my face. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Another cool thing too about Taco Bell is that you can make almost any item here like vegetarian, I think, or I guess this vegan too. Like you can take out dairy products, you can take out the meat product, and replace it with like black beans. Like they have the black bean chalupa and the um, black bean crunch wrap. So they make. Like the axe is made with black beans. Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out to get this without like getting all messy. Mm -hmm. It's not working. Go from the top down. Mm. Now I've actually got a collaboration 
with um, Eat With Cocoa ASMR coming up for, I think, not, the, you know, the next Thursday. And um, we're going to be doing this as well. Like, I don't know if I'm going to do the exact same theme um, as I did today, but I am going to be doing the Chalupa. Mm -hmm. So, and this is the burrito that comes with it. This will probably be like the less, least messy thing. <laughs> I love tacos, but they can be messy. Definitely glad you got me those extra napkins. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Very good. Indeed. It's definitely getting better as I get further into it. What would be your top item at um, Taco Bell's the five beef filet burrito? Mm -hmm. And then mine would probably have to be the crunch wrap. I like the crunch wrap. Nothing wrong with that. I also love the chalupas too. Maybe not the naked chicken one is my favorite, but it's pretty good. But uh, the crunch wraps, the tacos are okay, so they fall apart. And um, what was it? Um, they also make quesadillas as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, Evan loves quesadillas, by the way. <laughs> but only with cheese. I think he gets that from both of us. <laughs> like, the only thing I'd order other than, you know, five of a burrito was pretty the quesadilla. Mm -hmm. Or actually, is that true? Pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. I remember we did one video a long time ago where we did tacos three each, and I had a crunch wrap and you had a quesadilla. That said, the Baja Blast is definitely you know, high up in my list too. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite drink there. Mm -hmm. That's why we should try out the Pena Colada thing before they get rid of it because it's also limited time. This is a good burrito. They filled it pretty good. Look at that. Good job, Taco Bell. Good job. Mm -hmm. And definitely, when you eat nachos, my favorite toppings are guacamole, mm -hmm. sour cream, pico de gallo. So, what about you? Well, obviously, the nacho cheese sauce is a you know, <laughs> very important topic for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I definitely like having you know guacamole. Mm -hmm. Let me think. I just making sure not like covered in stuff. Mm -hmm. Sour cream is also a good one. Mm -hmm. Definitely a drink I've eaten a lot. Ooh. This is refreshing. I like this more than the um, regular Mountain Dew. Like Mountain Dew is actually technically my favorite drink, my soft drink. <laughs> like um, growing up and even into my years now, it's just like I go to the store and if I see like Mountain Dew, I'll g <laughs> I'll grab a bottle of it. <laughs> I don't know. I think you're always a big fan of, also a big fan of Gold Peak tea. I also am a big fan of the um, sweet tea too. Yeah, I just remember like, whenever we go to the store, we, like, you always get some of the Gold Peak tea too. And you always like me to get you that Snapple tea. That was, mm -hmm. what was it, peach flavored? And the other one I hear drinks is also cream soda. Mm hmm. So I also liked, um, you know, Pepsi and they say Diet Coke's everywhere. So like everyone gets a lot of Diet Coke. Mm -hmm. But I just wish more places sold Mountain Dew, you know. But yeah, overall, I liked the Naked Chicken Chalupa meal. I will give it a big thumbs up. And honestly, 
Now, as many things as they've taken off of the menu the past year due to the pandemic, I honestly wish they'd make this a permanent item because it's just something different from all those crunchy tacos, all the soft tacos. I mean, it's something kind of really cool, really unique. Like, to actually take chicken, fold it into a taco, and put fillings in it, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> like, um... I kind of wonder where they came up with the idea, you know, like, this is like real funny commercial they got playing right now for Taco Bell, like watching uh, Discovery and um, on my phone and they kept playing this commercial Taco Bell of like, yeah, this is like back during the American uh, Independence Day days and all these people are dressed up and trying to say like, oh, the, uh, Pickles go first, then the chicken filet, and then the mayo, or whatever like that. And they were just like trying to like say which, you know, topping came first. But then these two other people pop up with the chalupa, and everyone's just like looking at the chalupa, and it's just like, you actually eating a taco shaped like a, a chicken taco thing. So, I don't know. But I just thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> well, they got that commercial play right now. So, what did you think about the natural box? Definitely liked it. Like, excuse me. I won't claim it's like a you know, new revolution or anything. <laughs> yeah, I like the commercials for the you know chalupa. <laughs> but it's a nice you know, like standard issue item like. I can kind of understand why they do these things kind of temporarily because, how should I put this? They're not like super amazing, but they're like a new thing and like it triggers our fear of missing out. So like psychologically, it's probably better for them. Like if they were on the menu all the time, I don't think it would even be much of a boost to traffic, but by having it on the menu short term, they can get people to come in and check it out. Exactly, especially with the deal, it's five dollars. I think that's the same thing they had it for last year. Like when I did it, I actually did the Grand Ocean Black last year for this channel, and I think they had it for five dollars then too. So it's like that's a really special deal. I guess people to come in here and get the Grand Ocean Box, and you know, try it out. But please make the Chalupa a permanent item. It's something different. It's something kind of like real unique and like I think it would get more people to come in here <laughs> like you guys took a lot of stuff off the menu keep this it's good I mean it is <laughs> although now I'm tempted I dare, dare I say it wouldn't it be considered you know taco pro, um, promoting nudity at the restaurants <laughs> <laughs> couldn't resist couldn't resist I'm sorry Anyway guys, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video of us reviewing the new Naked Chicken Chalupa from Taco Bell as well as the Grande Nacho Box. Now, if you haven't done so already, be sure to click that red button down below to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to see notifications. And also, please check out Caitlin's Eating Show. Like I mentioned earlier, she's a wonderful mom, lives in Canada, does car mukbangs, mukbangs at home, and I love her down-to-earth welcoming personality. So, if you like watching channels like that and videos, please go subscribe to her channel. I would really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. We'll see you in the next video. This is Crystal. And Charles. Sunny up. Bye, Bye birdies. birdies. <laughs>